Okay, so let's see how it works. Again, this is really just the Apple Cinema display connected to a base which is hooked up to a Mac Mini. So to power it up, we actually just power up the Mac Mini. And the familiar Apple booting sound. While it loads, just want to show you that this is uh, has all the flexibility of the native iMac G4. Again, it's got the 180 degree rotation. It tilts back, you know, it tilts forward. It's really no more difficult to manipulate uh, than the original iMac G4 20 inch, which again was a little bit tougher to manipulate than the 17 inch, but uh, it's pretty easy. You know, you could do it with one hand, uh, swivel it around. And this is actually what I think makes it so nice for a touch screen is that you do have this ability to kind of position it to where it makes you more comfortable to uh, be able to actually uh, use it uh, as a pretty viable touch screen option. So now that it's loaded, I'll demonstrate uh, some of the functionality of the touch screen. And this is a five wire resistive. Uh, it's not quite as good as a capacitive touch screen in terms of its accuracy, but it's pretty good when you're dealing with such a large screen. Is just opening up Safari. And again, it's pretty easy to move uh, icons around the desktop. To uh, touch smaller icons, to close windows, it's obviously more difficult to touch the little icons on top. It does get more difficult. Again, show you to access the dock, it's actually very easy to um, access all your icons. So again, just using the iTunes library and very easy to kind of scroll through the songs using the touch screen. And just to demonstrate the use, uh, it's the same Apple Pro speakers that you remember. Pretty uh, decent quality, uh, but again, the, the real reason I do use them is really the uh, kind of the charm that it brings back uh, the feeling of uh, the original iMac G4, and it's really part of the design of the original machine. Now scroll down, scroll up. Again, the icons are a little bit small. Some things are a little bit tough to hit, but uh, really it does add a nice little uh, a uh, little twist to uh, the original iMac G4. So, and you know, closing icons can be a little bit uh, difficult. And demonstrating, uh, you know, again, what this is. This is actually an, an older generation iMac Mini. So, just looking about this Mac, um, you can see that it is a uh, 1.83 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo um, that is running Snow Leopard. So it is obviously the new Intel processor. And again, I am using this with uh, the Apple uh, Bluetooth keyboard as well as the Magic Mouse. So uh, when you're not using it as a touch screen, you know, you do have that ability to use it as a conventional laptop. I'm sorry, a uh, conventional desktop. So again, uh, a pretty uh, nice mod. It's nice to actually have the uh, iMac G4 again be kind of part of my desktop, which is really my whole goal with this mod is to use uh, updated enough that I can um, continue to uh, use it as uh, you know, one of my mainstream computers. And uh, thank you.